Hey there guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I just wanna show you this laptop real quick, and this is the Toshiba Satellite C55D B5385. And just to give you some specs on, on this device, so this laptop, I believe, came out in 2015 or 2016. It originally came with Windows 10 Home. Uh, it does have an AMD A8 processor, A8 6410 quad-core APU with AMD Radeon R5 graphics. It does have a base of 2 gigahertz and a max of 2.4 gigahertz. It does include 8 gigs of RAM. It is not user replaceable and it runs at 1600 megahertz. It does have a traditional uh, 5400 RPM hard drive, a one terabyte drive. It does have an optical drive with it. So although this one is quite thin, it does still have an optical drive and offers um, 11 formats that it uses. So it uses formats such as CD-ROM, CD-R, CD rewritable, DVD-ROM, DVD-R, DVD-R dual layer, DVD-RW, DVD plus R, DVD plus R uh, dual layer, DVD plus RW, and DVD-RAM. Uh, this also has it features a 15.6 inch display. It is a TFT display. So of course our viewing angles are not going to be great with this as well as our color reproduction will not be that great. Uh, it is a 720p uh, resolution. So full resolution here is 1366 by 768. It does have a 16 by nine aspect ratio and it is LED backlit. This does have built in stereo speakers and of course comes with a standard keyboard here. So as you can see, we do have a full keyboard with the number pad. These are chiclet type keys here. They are not backlit. And uh, we do have a lit power key as well as a light above our num lock. And we have a light on our caps lock as well. We do have a, a pretty decent trackpad here. This does offer two finger scrolling. We do have a left and right click button right there. And as you can see over time, it does start to sync. So unfortunately, uh, over time, this has started to sync and uh, that could become a problem later down the road. So this laptop does include a webcam. And as you can see, whenever the webcam is in use, a blue light shows up on the top here. Quality is not terrible. Uh, I look pretty decent with this. And as you can see, it does have face detection with Windows 10. So that works pretty well. It does also include something called TrueTalk dual microphones. So you should be able to hear yourself pretty well with this also. And it does include 10100 ethernet. Uh, it does include Wi-Fi 802.11b G and N. We'll do a little speed test on that in a little bit here. It does also include Bluetooth. It doesn't specify which uh, version of Bluetooth it uses, but um, it does have a memory card reader at the front of the device here. So as you can see, uh, we do have a memory card reader and that does support secure digital SDHC, SDXC, mini SD, micro SD, multimedia card, and it is a shared slot. Another thing to note here on the front, you can see we have some little LEDs right here and those note if there is activity on the hard drive or battery right there. Along with that, we do, have, we do have some decent port selection here. So we do have one USB 3 port right here, a USB 2 port, HDMI, a VGA. We do have our fan exhaust right here. We have a Kensington lock on this side. On the opposite side here, you can see we have our power plug right here. We do have our ethernet right here, another USB 2 port, as well as our slim CD-ROM drive right there. So I have wiped this machine with the newest version of Windows 10. Now, unfortunately, I don't have all the software that originally came on this machine, but some of the software that would have come with it is Toshiba Eco Utility, Toshiba Media Player, Toshiba Service Station, Toshiba Resolution Plus plugin for Windows Media Player, uh, My Music Cloud, Photo Director LE, Power Director LE, Spotify. It would have come with one month trial of Microsoft Office 365, uh, McAfee Live Safe 30 day trial, as well as WinZip. So let's go ahead and test out our browser and see how quick that runs here. And then we'll go to a few websites and check out how fast it goes. All right, we will test out our speed with our Wi-Fi here. So I am right next to my router and uh, I do have 250 down and 12 up on my, my connection. So as you can see here, we're only getting 40, 41. So it looks like that is gonna be the maximum it'll get. And it should get the amount, the same upload as we normally would here. So it looks like it is getting 12 up. So 41, 42 right there. Now we'll go to YouTube and uh, test out how well it works with videos. So it seems to load up okay here. 
we'll check out this video real quick here. Microsoft has done it. All right, so it actually started playing pretty quickly here. Let's scroll a little bit here. And as you can see, stuff is still loading here. So we don't have all the comments right away. Scroll up a little bit here. Now it should have started at 480p. Actually, it is running at 720p, 60 frames per second. Let's go ahead and go full screen and try it out. They've made a good product. And I'm not actually, All right, I don't know. Fast forward a little bit here. Very powerful tool. One that I highly recommend anybody do. Markdown files and so not too shabby there. All right, we'll go ahead and test the speakers on this real quick here. So I do have the volume all the way up, as you can see here. And then I do have the YouTube volume all the way up here. So we'll go ahead and test out the, sp the speakers real quick. So as you can see, the speakers on this laptop aren't quite that great. So of course it, is, it does say it is stereo, but as you can hear, it is not quite loud enough. Uh, so a little bit tinny also, but this being a budget laptop, it is kind of expected. I'll test out two more graphic heavy websites just to see how well they run. So we'll, try, we'll test out Apple's website, which usually has some pretty heavy graphics. And we'll go to some of these pages real quick, just to see. Um, how well it runs here. So as you can see, it does have all their little graphics and that usually can really bog down a computer. And another one I will try here is um, CNN. And of course that one is full of graphics as well, full of graphics and junk. So. Um, that one usually takes a while to load also. So as you can see, the images take forever to load on here. And we have a bunch of different articles and stuff. So we'll just go to one of these articles real quick, see how well it runs. So it's not too bad. So for basic web browsing, it is going to run okay. One more thing we'll try out here is uh, just using a free Office alternative. So I have LibreOffice 7.0 on here. So we're going to open that up and open up a new Word document just to see how quickly this loads up for us here. I actually loaded up pretty decently quick here. So uh, on this main page, we can choose whichever one we want. So we can choose a Word document right here. see how long that takes to actually open up here and there we go so that opened up pretty uh, not too bad so of course if you have a lower end machine like this one thing I could recommend is um, the hard drive will definitely be a um, stick in the mud and will cause it to be a little bit slower so definitely replace it with an SSD if you can um, even a smaller SSD they've come down quite a bit in price so that will definitely help in performance but overall, this is still a decent little laptop and can be used for basic tasks and um, still runs decently well. So guys, this has just been a quick look at the Toshiba Satellite C55D B5385. Uh, this laptop, uh, I believe, came out in 2015 or 2016. Come, came with Windows 10. Uh, this one still runs pretty decently. Uh, only downsides here, of course, are as it being a budget laptop, we have kind of a uh, bad display here, TFT with bad viewing angles. Uh, we do have kind of tinny speakers and we have non-upgradable RAM. But other than that, it's not too bad and uh, should run for basic tasks just fine. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this quick video on this laptop. If you did like the video, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more like this, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.